Um, so we'll go back to edit and we can cover blur. Okay. So uh, again, blur is helpful for blurring out passwords or family photos or just trash. You don't want trash to show. Um, the, the car dealership that I did, they had certain items, uh, certain sales figures and stuff that were on whiteboards they didn't want to show. So we click on the blur icon, uh, hit the plus arrow, and then I'm going to blur out this book. But let's say this brush was too big for it. I can make the size of the brush smaller or larger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll go there. And then uh, we just click on our mouse and move it around. And as we're moving it around, it blurs it out. Mm -hmm. and, and I presume you're going to hit the check mark to, to accept that. Correct. And, and then we can you undo that blur now? You can. You can unhide it. Okay. Delete it. And then once we have everything blurred that we want to blur, we're going to hit apply blur. And it says this will apply one blur to a scan in the model. It will take a few minutes uh, the, until but, the blurs are fully applied. Once applied, you can uh, they can no longer be editable. Okay. That means you can't eat them? Editable. Edit, editable. Edit, editable, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, this does take a while. Um, the car dealership, I blurred about 37 items, uh, and it seemed to have taken a long time to do that. Yeah, it's too, too bad it's not designed kind of like an Apple experience where you could un undo, uh, you know, because uh, I could imagine you get to the car dealership and go, Oh, I really wanted you to be able to see that. Why'd you blur that one? Could you could you redo that, please, and unblur it? No, can't do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, some things in life are final. Yep. Got to deal okay. with it. Um, yep. 